Hello everyone, Zoe is here with another video and another guest. Today I'm going to interview Dr. Moshgan Habibi, who is a conceptual artist and a lecturer in University of Newcastle. If you want to know more about an artist's life or how your future look like as an artist, watch this video. Hi Dr. Moshgan, thank you for joining us today. Hello, Zoe. Um, thank you. It's my pleasure and thank you for having me. Thank you. Um, so, Mojgan, to start, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself and your career journey, please? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, I will start my journey, art journey, from Baxil Tafe, Melbourne, 2016. 2006, actually. Uh, I've got my diploma of art from there and um, I, then I completed my Bachelor of Fine Arts. Uh, and Master of Fine Arts uh, from RMIT University. Uh, then I moved to Newcastle and uh, I completed uh, my PhD uh, in Fine Arts. Uh, meanwhile, I had six solo shows, um, six uh, solo exhibitions, and I've oh. participated in um, 24 group exhibitions, and I've been finalist in nine um, arts competitions. Uh, and... Um, I received several awards and grants and uh, yeah, I've been artist. Oh, the most important thing for me, uh, which I really enjoyed was the uh, artist in residence program, uh, such as the uh, Red Gate in China and Beijing and um, Wei Weili artist uh, studio in Sydney, Hill and Newtown Army and some others. And uh, yeah, I'm currently a um, university lecturer, art lecturer at the University of Newcastle and also working um, on two books, uh, which they are technical and academic uh, references book for ceramic mm -hmm. and preparing two exhibition uh, for next year, 2021. <laughs> oh my god that's such a resume well done <laughs> this is thank you so thank you. Um, is your art always based on conceptual or like your exhibitions and awarded been, been based on all different areas or types of art yeah um this is a great question and big question you know artists try to answer this question through their whole life if the conceptual or a traditional or any other style. Uh, some art is con concerned with ideas. And my interest about the conceptual art has uh, started uh, while I had the little pottery studio at um, home in Melbourne, 2005. Mm -hmm. And I loved uh, working with clay and making vessel forms. And um, I enjoyed throwing and shaping clay uh, with the potter wheels. And I used to usually start working with a, a draft idea in my mind. And then, but let my, um, you know, uh, attach myself and just make the work. Um, then um, I felt my work are full of the life and I wanted to really share with the other people and express myself through my art. Uh, but I didn't know how to express it, how I, I can just make it conceptual. Um, then I decided to study fine art uh, in the my RMIT University. And then I learned how to express my ideas and concept. And um, now I'm trying to include my ideas in the work. And uh, at the same time, I uh, want to leave some you know, a space to audience to understand my works. And uh, that's, you know, my works explore notion of the change, movement, and... I aim uh, to express aspects of uh, human spirituality. And, um, and I think uh, now I can just kind of express it through That's my true. conceptual art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your ideas in kind of like language of art, right? That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so Mojgan, um, talking about conceptual art and ideas, um, do you think your kind of like that Persian background would affect on your ideas as well as a mm. kind of like conceptual artist? Yes, for sure. Yes. Uh, my practice reference, um, references calligraphy, poetry and mythology of Iran, my country. Uh, the connection to Iran through my work is a collective, not 
con- it's a collective and personal connection. Um, let's take some example, like um, some I use some I inspired by some artists and uh, mostly uh, poets. Um, influenced by Persian mythology, includes Shahnameh by okay. Ferdowsi, mm-hmm. and uh, actually I've used um, some of the story like cover the blacksmith to create the installation and artwork. And currently I have the installation in the Lock Up Gallery in Newcastle. And um, can I tell, tell you about uh, that as well? Yes, definitely. <laughs> I'm really, it's going to be yeah, um, like me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm really excited about this. And um, I refer to element of the mythological Persian poem, um, The Conference of the Birds, mm-hmm. by 12th century poet. Uh, and uh, Freydun, um, Freydun Din Attar. Um, the poem described the search and a journey of a group of birds for wow. a leader to reach um, an alignment. Through this um, spiritual experience, the birds realize uh, that each one is part of the leader they have been searching for. And... Um, and I used this idea and then I created installation, uh, which consists of um, approximately 2,000 uh, ceramic weather, handmade ceramic weather, and um, which, um, yeah, and then I fixed them to the fabric, the tube fabric. And, um, but I use um, bon- um, ashes, bone ashes, ashes with my clay. Uh-huh. Uh, I mix them all together and then I roll them and I made the ceramic feathers. And then uh-huh. installation, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and the installation height is, um, uh, I think, around three meters. And, um, and it's suspended in the gallery room between the ceiling and floor. Um, and the works, uh, the idea, the concept of that, the works expresses uh, solidarity. And, the, and there is a light inside. I put the light inside. And the light is a metaphor for hope. And the, I think, I believe, the spiritual message uh, of my works uh, speaks of transformation and change. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I believe the concept of hope can only exist uh, where improvement is possible, uh, I believe. And, um, yeah, I think... Uh, the audience get that spiritual message through this installation uh, as well. Amazing. I should definitely come and visit it soon. Um, Saying that, Mojgan, uh, do you have any role model, anyone there to inspire you to go through all these kind of like conceptual ideas? Mm. Yes, of course. Uh, There are many great artists uh, by whom I'm inspired by, uh, such as uh, great artists, um, Hossein Vala Manish, Oh. Uh, Iranian, Australian, uh, contemporary conceptual artists uh, mm-hmm. who live in um, Adelaide, I believe. Mm-hmm. And um, I've seen um, and I wrote it, my PhD about um, his artworks because it's, I feel there is a connection between our works as well. And I'm really uh, influenced by his work, um, yeah. honestly. And, uh, and there are some other artists and I'm interested in uh, Mona Hatem. Uh, mm-hmm. Palestinian artist and Parastu Furuhar, Iranian German artist. Um, and I really like their works uh, because they are um, contain a number of uh, possible interpretations mm-hmm. and uh, which are different for the Westerner and the Easterner audience. And um, true. yeah, and there is a, a I think, a, and because they are both from Middle East mm-hmm. and they are living in West uh, kind of and not in the oriental countries. I believe there is a shared background yes. and I really uh, enjoy their art and uh, yeah, I'm really inspired by their artwork. Very inspiring. I think, yeah, that what makes it beautiful is that combination between Eastern culture and Western culture, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. That's a difference. But anyhow, we are all human beings and we are sharing same thing, uh, maybe different language, the great things is uh, great thing, uh, uh, things about the art is um, you you don't need uh, to just uh, talk about your work. You can just express it, and uh, we all get a different meaning. And that's a nice thing about the art. That's exactly right. So beautiful. 
Um, yeah. So, Mojgan, um, if someone wants to follow um, the same path as you are in, uh, do they need to have a university degree as well? Like you are well educated, now you are um, doing your art, beside that you are a lecturer in university. Like uh, if someone wants to do the same thing, do they need to follow the same path with university studying as well? Uh, well, um, there are many journeys uh, that can lead you to become an artist. Mm -hmm. uh, the journey takes a uh, take dependent individual and it can uh, be different. For young, inspiring um, artists, uh, this journey can start with the technical education mm -hmm. uh, to develop some skills. Uh, for example, for drawing, painting, photography, uh, pottery, um, this basic skill uh, can be good, uh, you know, functional, but it's not necessary, I believe, for them to learn them in this, you know, a student-teacher environment. Many artists are self-taught and um, they are really great in their skills mm -hmm. and um, artists, there are some, as I said, some self-taught and some in uh, taught in university. Uh, but I think the ability to understand the world around you and analyze, um, analyze it with your art is at the core of every artist and it's not necessary to just do the formal education in university, I believe. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the thing I want to say. <laughs> does it make it easier for them to get It's make it courses? easier, like, yeah, because they need a kind of the fundamental exactly. base. Yeah, and to just... isn't it? And find yeah, it is. the right connection to get into it. To get, yeah, exactly, yeah, to just be with the other uh, people, same-minded, mm -hmm. it's really helping you as well. Um, that can just help you help artists and uh, yeah everyone <laughs> that's exactly true so how artists makes money Mojgan? how is the oh. art industry <laughs> <laughs> yeah mm, okay i would like to start it like that the purpose of choosing art as korea is uh, not earning a lot of money mm. artist career is about poetic journey and understanding the world around you and um, be in harmony. But it is challenging <laughs> to be good. an artist and generally artists have they have second job and then, uh, it, as I say, it's not easy to just earn the money and usually uh, artists earn less, but there's a joy in that. And just, I think, um, yeah, you have to just deal with that. And, um, but I think the artists, they live in the good life. <laughs> That's true. That's exactly the same statement that I've heard from Hossein Balamanish as well. He was, yeah, yeah, he was saying that like, if you want to be an artist, you have to put it in your mind that you're not looking for money in your life. You just mm. want to enjoy and follow your love. Money would That's come right. in the future if you're going to be a fine artist. But to For start, sure. you need to forget about money and lifestyle. You just need to follow your love. So, <laughs> makes totally it right. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And it's just you know, the life with the art is really amazing. Okay. It, the, to be able to just share your idea and just let the people to enjoy your art is as well. That's another thing. And um, yeah, forget about the money, <laughs> <laughs> about the art. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That's true. That enjoyable, mm. enjoyable life. Mm. And, yeah, having fun is the most important thing. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. yeah. Cool, Mojkan. Yeah. That was really great information that you shared with us. At the end, is there any tip or advice for um, those who are graduating from university and they want to be a fine artist in the future or for those who, are, who immigrated from their country here, they don't have any university degree, but um, they are really passionate to be an artist? So what is your tip and advice for them? Um, I, uh, I, I think tip number one is follow your own path. Mm -hmm. um, experiment, uh, spend time in your studio and spend time with the other artists. Be critical of yourself and listen to your criticism more than the advice. Mm -hmm. And read poetry, connect to the nature and allow uh, creativity to every aspect of your life. Like when you're cooking, gardening, talking, communicating with other people, mm -hmm. just allow your 
creativity be just be there. I think, yeah, that's that would be really good to just. That's my tip for myself. I hope this is helping the others as well. That's a great advice. <laughs> Thank you for having me in your uh, program, and yeah, yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Dr. Mojgan. Thank you very much for joining us today. And I'm sure it's going to be very useful for those who want to be an artist and follow your path. <laughs> Thank you very much, Zoe. Thank you. Have a great day. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching the conversation. If you want me to produce more video like this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And comment below if you have any questions. Thank you.